Okay, uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the March 9th, 2010 Board of uh, Selectmen's meeting. Mr. Clerk, could we have the roll? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, all five selectmen are present, as is Town Administrator Mr. Andrews. All right, first order of business will be announcements. Uh, yes, tonight we have uh, a few announcements. First one being... The Charter Review Committee will hold its next public meeting for continued discussion on the proposed change of town government. The meeting will take place on Saturday, March 13th, 2010, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. in the Town Hall Auditorium. So again, that's Saturday, March 13th, 1 to 3 p.m. in the Town Hall Auditorium. The next announcement we have, Mr. Chairman, is... Attention all, March 27, 2010, Vietnam Veterans Day, uh, PFC Carlos James Rose Memorial Brunch, salute to Wareham residents killed in action while serving in Southeast Asia, Richard Aruda, Ronald Bumpus, James Crowley, and Carlos Rose, Saturday, 10 a.m., Dudley L. Brown, VFW Post 2846, Ballpark Road, Onset, Mass., donations will be $8.00. For more information, contact Paul Rose, Jr., Vice Commander, 508-295-9889, or Irvin Tootsie Russell, Chaplain, 508-295-3167. So again, that'll be a memorial brunch on Saturday, 10 a.m. at the uh, Dudley Brown VFW Post, and 295-9889 um, for information. The next, the, the next one we have, uh, Mr. Chairman, is for the contract two of the sewer. The uh, meeting will be on March 20th with the residents. That's a Saturday at 10 a.m. in the auditorium. So um, I know they've been waiting to have their, their meeting with, um, with what's going on with that sewer contract on March 20th at 10 a.m. And the last announcement we have is, is a great one. And actually, I thank your wife, Mr. Chairman, for giving me the paper because I didn't bring it with me. But how about those Wareham Vikings? <laughs> that's here. That's, uh, that's a great group of, group of kids. And, and uh, 63 to 49, they beat Bedford in the semifinals. So go Vikings. It's a good job, guys. Well Con done. Congratulations, Wareham <coughs> High School. Uh, that's what we have for announcements. Mr. Okay, Chairman. thank you. All right, uh, next order of business will be citizens' participation. Who's here to speak to the board this evening? Um, would you mind indulging us for one moment? I'd like to have Mr. Cruz uh, speak mm -hmm. just briefly. But I want to thank, thank everybody for the condolences and support they gave me, uh, my family and I over the death of my brother. I really appreciate it. And also for the Wayham Police Department, for the escort that they gave for the funeral, it was really, really good. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. Sir. Good evening. If you could um, please introduce yourself for the record and speak uh, directly into the microphone. Hello? Yes, it's on. Okay. Uh, Mike Clarity, Precinct 1. Um, last time I was here was February 16th, and um, I had a, f a few questions that um, I had regarding some recent uh, news reports, and I was hoping that you would indulge me with some more, if I could ask some more questions. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Just from my notes here to recap, the last time I was here, I had asked about um, um, the, the, the town had asked Kilpeman and Page about the library Facebook page, and they were waiting to hear back on, on whether or not that was a legal use of the name. Have we heard back on that at all? It's still in review, sir. It's still in review. Thank you. Uh, next thing I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been reading, I, I, I've been reading some stuff about the Swift Beach deed. And uh, I'm hoping to get some clarification on this. I'm just, I don't want to rehash it all. I know it's a long story, but I just want to know if there's been some closure to it. And what I'm referring to, um, someone here points out, they say, the fact that two years has passed, 
Since the town meeting approved the land to be used for open space, a deed has yet to be written and recorded in the Plymouth County Registry of Deeds to seal the active town meeting. Excuse me, may I ask, where are you reading that from? This one would be from um, uh, the Wareham Observer. Okay. Yeah, well, a, a blog. It was, uh, some so, so it's. Uh, I just wanted to be clear out there that you're reading from the hate blog. That, no, that's what I call it. No, no, no. This, yeah. this one is from the. the um, from the newspaper. The newspaper. Yeah. Okay. What then? What I would suggest is for that. Excuse me. What I would suggest is community preservation is the one that they were the ones that used the money. They're the ones that are working on the deed restriction, and so you'd have to talk to them. They meet um, the second. I think it's the second of, I'm not sure which, you can check online. It's Wednesday nights uh, <coughs> over in conference room B. Community Preservation. Community Preservation Committee. They're the ones that handle that, not the Board of Selectmen. Uh, I don't participate on that other site that you were okay, talking that's about. Okay, that's what I wanted to know because I, I, I mean, I just wanted to know where you were reading it from, so. All right, thank you. Um, I had a bunch more questions, but I'll take it up with them on that. Yeah, as far as that, because they're the ones that, that handle that, that have been going back and forth with the preservation restrictions and stuff. They do it with all of their properties. Okay, thank you. Um, You're welcome. Um, another item I had, uh, a precinct map. Uh, I was stopped by the town hall Friday for among other things. I was trying to get a precinct map to see where the various precincts in town were. And uh, they pointed me to the clerk's office and they didn't have any. I, she pointed, the, the lady was nice, she pointed to one on the wall, a nice big glossy one, but they don't have any copies. I mean, where do you get a copy of a precinct map? We could uh, we could ask the clerk's office to make have some made um, okay. for public uh, distribution. Uh, okay. Mr. Andrews, can we? Um, I got it, Mr. Chairman. Can we ask them to do that. And also, can we get it on the website? <coughs> yeah, sure. that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah. Might be easier. Um, Cheaper than making copies. I, I also have some questions about um, some specific things that that I saw in the uh, Chatter Review Committee. Um, Lately, I've noticed that um, people are questioning the necessity of having to change the current town charter for the purposes of being able to address issues in a more timely fashion. The premise is apparently that things aren't so bad, that things aren't so bad now, uh, and if they are, then, then it's not due to the current form of government per se, and I'll just leave it at that without getting into certain personalities. But as the CRC put it, in summary, the charter... In summary, the Charter Review Committee recognized that in our present form of government, neither executive nor legislative branch can respond quickly to the needs of the town, nor can our legislative branch be held responsible by the citizens. Now, I found that to be a pretty significant conclusion. Unfortunately, the CRC did list six discernible contemporary issues to base that rationale on, uh, according to them, that have been allowed to continue, quote, year after year. I'm here tonight if, to hopefully. If I, if I could interrupt you, I, I don't mean to belabor, but just like Mrs. Extrom directed you to the to the CPC for responses to your questions on their issues, uh, I understand there's a public meeting again being held this week for the Charter Review Committee, yeah. and that those questions would be best addressed to them because they're just an appointed. We just appoint them, and they're doing their thing. I, so. I, I understand, but I actually have specific questions for, go, for, for go you ahead. folks. Go ahead. Ask okay. your questions. Um, I, again, there are six examples of the CRC lists. With your indulgence, I would like to go one by one and get your feedback on each. Sure, go ahead. All right. Um, I'll skip the first one. I'll go back to it later. But they claim the East Wareham Highway stays in need of repair. Uh, and well, that's true. And I'm curious, like, like why? Like, what's the Because it's not owned by the town. That's owned by uh, the state. And we've tried for years to get improvements made on that road. And, in fact, what we were offered maybe 18 months ago uh, by um, the state was they would actually give us the road in return for major repairs, but in return the town would accept the road uh, and would be responsible for the maintenance and upkeep thereafter. We've There's been no progress. Okay. Um, I know that the, I'm sorry, I just, the last part of that. I know that um, box five, which is, the, the you know our part of mass highway has and their engineers have had public meetings uh, we had one 